This lesson is about using something called Flotility. I love Flotility. I use it all the time. It's a library of high quality motion graphics for your screen float projects. There are little clips that you add to your document and they add interests or transitions. They're really, really fun. And you've seen them in my projects. If you've ever watched any of my videos, I use them a lot. Uh, and this is a product demo video that they had on YouTube, but I'm going to show you some ways that I've used my Flotility uh, clips. Okay, so this video is one I did for a coach I was about to work with named Rob Goyette, who is fantastic. And I wanted to give him a little idea of what I was doing so I could get good business advice from him, which he gave me, by the way, if you're ever looking for a business coach, I will include his link on the page. Anyway, so here I introduce myself and I also wanted to give props to my friend Donna who introduced me. So I put in a little flotility bubble, thought bubble, but I didn't want to say it uh, because it it diverted from what I was talking about, so I just put in a little thought bubble. So here you go. So Donna suggested this to let you get to know me a little bit, also so I could. So I like to increase the size on the timeline so that I can get much more precise with what I'm working on. And what I do is I have my flotility item here, whatever the clip is, and here it is here, talk bubble, thought bubble. I renamed them in my uh, folder previously because whatever they named them, I didn't like it. It was some number, I think. So here it is, and it starts to come in. There's the first thought bubbles, and then there, here's the cloud. And what I do is I like to have the text come in when, the, when it can start containing, when the bubble starts containing the the words. So you have to really start to pull your timeline scrubber. See where my mouse is right here? Just pull the timeline scrubber and see. And that's where you're going to pull, pull your text box to. And then it's done. It's there. Boom. This to and then I always like to have it fade out usually. Whoops. There at the same time. Let you get to know me a little bit. Because, boom, pull it to the same spot there. Let you, get Let you get to know me a little bit. Because it is abrupt otherwise. And I just like it that way. And I just leave it up for, um, how many seconds is this? This is two and a half seconds. And that's plenty of time for somebody to be able to read it and have it just be like a funny little thing. That is how I do a thought bubble. Now, and here is, it's, it's uh, a talking got bubble. About 20, 2022. So I, am, I am now talking about some something about my podcast. And there was a lot of information going on. And so I wanted more information to be relayed. I didn't want to put just text on the screen, but say it to say it with a talking bubble so again same idea it's, it's uh, uh this one's a little bit off i have to say so if it, i wanted to it, it, have it come up when, right when the it's at its peak i would pull it into here and make it a little better it's also nice to include uh, when you're not speaking over it or if there's not too much going on, including some sound effects, which are little pop but pop sounds and things like that. So I went and got a bubble pop that I know I had in my files. And listen, it's a lot of fun to hear it pop when it is going up visually. It's uh, so it's kind of nice. It's a little fun. It adds it, but there was a lot going on, and this was just an inform informative video for for somebody. I didn't want to go too crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to show you an example of why you would use a transition 
with flotility because this is really cool and how you would use it. So say you had this clip and then you had another clip and you don't want it to look jarring. Watch. Here is what I'm about and what I've done. So I'm so going to see that. It looks terrible jumping like that. What I'm about and what I've done. So I'm in a pretty small niche. So you don't want that. You don't want this. That boom, boom, boom. You don't want that. You want it to be smooth. Now, um, I'm going to add media right here. Click it. And I'm going to go into my applications. And then I'm going to go into flotility. And see, I took some out that I use a lot, Talk Bubble, Thought Bubble, Water. But I'm going to go into, I bought the Pro Transitions Pack, which I love. And you can get this stuff with my uh, affiliate link if you want to. It's at katiedavis.com slash flotility. And I like using, let's say, since maybe I'm talking about um, I'm talking about video, say. Where's my video camera? Film projector. Check this out. And you can look at it. All right, there you go. But there's also other things like film burn. I like that too. But there's falling money. Say so you're talking about, I want to make you a lot of money. There's all kinds of things. There's a camera shutter. Balloons. All kinds of things maybe you're talking about. There's a camera flash. I'm just going with the camera stuff. There's all kinds of things. I really like the other things too, um, like their device gestures. Here's, and they have different color people. Here's the Caucasian device gesture, African American device gesture. So when I say device gesture, I mean, you know, the smart devices and stuff. But let's go back to the pro transitions pack and I'm going to use and look they have this I just love this so it's a lot of fun so where was here we're going to use a film projector because I also know that I happen to have the projector sound and I'm going to find that sound and because I'm going to show you how to add sound to it too so we're going to bring in the projector movie. Whoops, see, sometimes screen flow brings in too many. You got to watch that. So, at the moment, at the moment, see the white light? See how it blinds you for a second? That's where we want to bring it over this right here. Okay, so we're going to move it over here. We're going to move the scrubber. So, right when we have this transition, this is where you put the scrubber. Let me make it bigger. You put the scrubber right where your your awkward transition is. It's even. I could even put it, I could even cut my pieces here and bring them closer in, make it tighter. Let's do that. All right, so now we're going to move this to that moment. Okay, now let's see how it looks. What I'm about and what I've done. So I'm in a pretty... See, see, does that look so much better? It's so cool. What I'm about and what I've done. So I'm in a pretty small... I'm going to make it smaller. Let's make this smaller. We don't want to use that. Good you are. So um, just here is what I'm about and what I've done. So I'm in a pretty small... So, there, so that's really cool. Now we're going to also create some so, uh, sound effect with it. Now look, this is way too long for this one little... I'm about and what I've done. Right? It's so also too loud. So we're going to lower the volume a little bit. Got to select it. Lower the volume. But here's what you can do. Okay, you can... Cut it here and then we'll cut it. So I'm not going to go to the end of it. And then you can. I'm about and what I've done. So I'm in a pretty small. Now you don't want it that abrupt, right? So we're going to add a an audio action. Okay. 
So the audio action we can add to this, it's loud here, we'll make it soft <laughs> here. Make the volume low here. I'm about what I've done. So I'm in a and we'll add it another audio he action here. Put drag it over here. And at the end of it, you want to add make the action end where you want it. So if you want it to be quiet at the end, you put the audio action at the end of the highlighted area. Um, low. So if you want the sound low at the end of it, you make it volume low. But at the up here, the volume is high. Here we wanted the volume low at the beginning, so there's the volume is low here, and then as it rises, the volume goes up. So I'm about what I've done. So I'm in a pretty small niche. See? Children's published pretty cool. But if we wanted the whole thing a bit higher could make it up but it's still going to make the beginning lower so let's hear how it sounds now what I'm about and what I've done so I'm in a pretty small niche pretty Children's cool right I'm about and what I've done so I'm in a pretty small niche and that's how you use that it's awesome that's pretty cool for uh, flotility um, clips but let's just uh, add I'm going to show you how to, to do this with those hand gestures because they're really fun to use too. So let's do the device gestures. Okay, so say we're going to do, I'm gonna delete these. Say we're gonna do the device spread, okay? Once again, we're gonna put it right at where the transition is going to be made, which is right where the cut is, okay? And you see, here's, here's the I'm device. Done. What, when he spreads his fingers, I wish they'd do some girl hands, but they don't have any girl hands. So, um, let's see, from the beginning. So, I'm in a pretty up. small... And by the way, sometimes, depending on what your size, your stage you've cho chosen is, sometimes they'll come in this big, and you can just, like, raise them up bigger. You can, you know, you can make it as big or small as you want. So, let's see. So, I'm in a pretty small... So, we want to make this... Uh, the piece bigger, right? So we want to get his get it to when when his fingers start moving. So here, his fingers start here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add. Let's see. I'm thinking. I'm doing this as I. I'm thinking about this as I think. We're going to add a video action to this piece of film. All right. And let's see, let's add the video action. All right, and you saw him, his fingers. We're going to scale up that piece. So, because that's what his fingers are doing, right? So, so there we go. But it's gotta stop moving when his fingers stop moving because otherwise that doesn't make sense if you've ever done that. So we just take this and we, so let's see if it works. Yeah, that's cool. Look at this. What I've done. So I'm in a pretty small niche. That's awesome. About what I've done. So I'm in a pretty small niche. Except for he went back down. So let's see. So we're going to add another one. When did he start moving his fingers? Right there. So we're going to add another video action. And we don't want it there. We want it to start right here. I don't know why ScreenFlow does that. But we're going to start going back down. Let's see. Let's see when he ends his fingers. We're going to go back down right there. I'm going to drag this down. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Oh, because I, I made it too small. That's why. We still want to make this the right size, right? And, all right, so let's see. A small niche. There we go. So let's see how this works now. So I'm in a pretty small niche. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Or, you know, you could cut this too. I mean, if you didn't, if you just wanted to leave it at that size, you could just either, you could just cut it and get rid of this. Small and then niche. he's gone. Or no, I'd have to get rid of this too. Pretty small niche. 
And then again, I like to fade it out. That's such a small clip. You gotta drag that. So I'm in a pretty small niche. So see, he's gone. Let me get rid of this. And that's how you use what I've done. So I'm in a pretty small niche. Children transitions with flotility clips. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay. So say we're going to do. I'm gonna delete these. Say we're gonna do the device spread. Okay. Once again, we're gonna put it right at where the transition is going to be made, which is right where the cut is, okay? And you see, here's, here's the I'm device done. What when he spreads his fingers. I wish they'd do some girl hands, but they don't have any girl hands. So um, let's see, from the beginning. So I'm in a pretty up. small... And by the way, sometimes, depending on what your size, your stage you've cho chosen is, sometimes they'll come in this big and you can just like raise them up bigger you can you know you can make it as big or small as you want so let's see so i'm in a pretty small so we want to make this uh the piece bigger right so we want to get his get it to when when his fingers start moving so here his fingers start here so what we're going to do is we're going to add Let's see. I'm thinking. I'm doing this as I. I'm thinking about this as I think. We're going to add a video action to this piece of film. All right. And let's see. Let's add the video action. All right. And you saw him. His fingers. We're going to scale up that piece. So because that's what his fingers are doing, right? So. So. There you go. But it's got to stop moving when his fingers stop moving because otherwise that doesn't make sense if you've ever done that. So we just take this and we... So let's see if it works. So I'm yeah, that's cool. Look at this. What I've done. So I'm in a pretty small niche. That's awesome. About what I've done. So I'm in a pretty small niche. Except for he went back down. So let's see. So we're going to add another one. When did he start moving his fingers? Right there. So we're going to add another video action. And we don't want it there. We want it to start right here. I don't know why ScreenFlow does that. But we're going to start going back down. Let's see. Let's see when he ends his fingers. We're going to go back down right there. I'm going to drag this down. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Oh, because I made it too small. That's why. We still want to make this the right size, right? And all right, so let's see. A small niche. There we go. So let's see how this works now. Done. So I'm in a pretty small niche. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Or you know, you could cut this too. I mean, if you didn't, if you just wanted to leave it at that size, you could just either you could just cut it and get rid of this. A small and then niche. He's gone. Or no, I'd have to get rid of this too. Pretty small knit. And then again, I like to fade it out. Fade it out. It's such a small clip. You gotta drag that. So I'm in a pretty small niche. So see, he's gone. Let me get rid of this. And that's how you use what I've done. So I'm in a pretty small niche. Children transitions with flotility clips. Pretty awesome, huh?